Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. This is a... <clears throat> this is a funky... This is a funky start screen. I wasn't actually expecting it to look like this after how the first game's start screen looked like. But, alright then, I guess that's... I guess that's fine. Uh... Okay, what? I'm going to... Yeah, right, what was that? New game! Options. Voice. Medical speed. Super Bob. Huh. Not even the option to play in Japanese. I, mean, I guess that might be actually in there. Alright. Extras. From the beginning. Oh, here we go. Audio will play in English. Let's do that, because... Oh boy, that was... That was, uh, not, not fun, the first game. Uh, finish liking the little... Alright, go. Hey! Let's see how these voices go. Can you hear me? Okay, who are you, are you and okay? why... Who are you and why are you wearing a jacket that looks like the guy from the first game? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same, too. Game is loud? Alright, hang on. How about now? <clears throat> is it okay now? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation... Hey, are you listening? No, I'm not. I'm talking to the stream. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I'm gonna think. Distangling the weird knots that formed in my mind. About ten. How? Is that a negative fifteen decibels? How? Oh shit. Okay, how about now? That's right, I... Starting PCS version 1... Okay, well, what the fuck is happening? Like, we escaped the, we escaped the school in the first game. Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair. Game stopped! Okay. okay. Alright then, I guess this is the way to do it. <laughs> that day wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant! When that long day, day finally came, I felt proud in a way I couldn't really put into words. I felt like I'd just been a part of something greater myself. Does that make sense? That's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope's P- Oh shit! Wait, what? But- Okay. I'm gonna need some things explained. Why does Hope's Peak Academy exist? Like... Like, what? didn't, like, the apocalypse happen? Like, is this a prequel? Does that mean this doesn't end good? Kids love to play baseball alone, join your major leagues. Kids love to play soccer, join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, we're reusing this, this shot again! Hope's Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's so only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration. Many of the current leads of various industries are at currently alumni of this school. And that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope! There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, since Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school is more than anything else. This guy doesn't have any abilities, does he? He's, he's just... Is this a reboot? Is this, is this a fucking... Is this a... F like, is, is this a fucking, like, reboot of the first game? Is this guy just going to be a redo of Makoto? 
Truth is, my circumstance is just a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. Find out soon enough, it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Some place in the timeline. So it has to be before the first game, right? Because the first game, the apocalypse happened. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. Makoto Nagi. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little... Alright, time for memes! When's the trap character? When's the trap character that I lust after? <laughs> Hajime Hine- Oh, for fuck's sake, that's even worse than Makoto Nagi. Yamda, how's the- how's the sound? Because Dodge was having issues before. one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. Barely hear the game. Alright. I'm gonna turn it up like five decibels. In fact, instead of calling it admiration- How about now? It's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be Whoa! Proud of. Whoa! I always wanted to. For that reason, I always wanted to. Always, 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 always. Oh God! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put it up another five decibels. It's gonna be minus fifteen. Oh my God! This happens in a fucking. This happens in a fucking computer simulation, doesn't it? I really want to mean how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope I might. Oh! Oh, n yeah, no. It happens in a fuck. It's a simulation. Yeah, it's a fuck. It's a fucking simulation. Like, I, I fully expect to, like, run into Alter Ego at some point. And, like, sup, fuckers? Welcome to my special hell. It's me, Chihiro, hi. It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to get inside this classroom. Need? What need? No, I should hurry. I bet that's going to be the twist. It's a simulation this whole time. An alter ego is fucking with your shit. What the f- Yo, 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 no, 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 no. Go the fuck back. This is also way more students than there were before. Is that Biakia? What the fuck, Biakia? Huh? Who goes there? Uh. Um, are you feeling all right? Uh. Hey, could you be? You're also a freshman at the school, right? Uh, then. You are all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. Wait. Oh, wait, so this is... So that's gonna be Biakia's kid, then, or something, right? But when does... This has to be after, but... I assume... Confused... Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. You know what? You know, that would make sense. That can't be Biakia, can it? It's dressed like him, but he's so fat. Hmm, why don't you just come inside for now? Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Why am I being so polite? I know they call the old ones, they're still high school students like me. That's right, first impressions are crystal moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my best to act cool, he falls over. Anyway, what happens earlier? I want to be here, and the classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. How did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. This is a simulation. I don't know how Biaki is in here, but he's in here. What? It's not not that far off from my fucking voice for him. What is it? No. Why are we all wait? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here. So is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Actually, we're just about to discuss that matter. No. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you're the last one to arrive, let's start the discussion. Yes. <laughs> like, wait, what? 
Uh, this is everyone? Like, how do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 deaths in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such hmm, it's obvious if you bother to think about it, you know. What the fuck is this guy? He's like a little Pillsbury Doughboy! <laughs> fuck. And what, um... And what are we gonna talk about, huh? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom, huh? He's Mickey Mouse. First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there really anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Yeah. Man? We all looked around at each other. Surprised look here in everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. Hmm, so before you realize it, you were in this classroom, and everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's on Yeah, that's Biakia. He's even doing the same pose. It's just difficult for him because he's so fucking fat. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Yes. What's going on? Oh god. I gotta come up with oh oh god, I gotta use I gotta come up with voices again. All I know is difficult. It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean, stupid looking? So, in other words... Mm, the moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and don't know why. Yes. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? Wait, Biakia, you've done this before. Biakia, you've done this before, my dude. Hey, Slender, what's up? Dizziness wasn't just me, ha ha! Everyone felt the same dizziness and oh, that's weird, ha ha! Ah, uh, uh, even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then, yes. Huh? Hmm? So in other words... Meaning we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What? Well, someone's got to be. Someone's got to be the talker of this group. I'm not getting rid of that voice. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what you're so worried about, but that does sound like a big deal. Huh? Sir, what do you mean, man? So what I mean is. Oh yeah, no, no, I basically right. I mean, it's a major. Pr it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should figure out why we can't leave. Wow, they just recycled Aoi's tits, didn't they? They just recycled Aoi's tits for this one. Ah, what do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! Eh? S seriously? Ho -ho. I watched him run over the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? Oh, it won't open! I can't open it! Ho -ho. Huh? Um... Oh god, what was her voice again? Shit! <laughs> Fuck! I'm running into the bubble already. Um. Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. But that door wouldn't budge at all. Hey, hey. These words are insane. Someone's gonna be a '50s radio host. Someone's going to be. Um. Hey, hey, what's going on? Sheesh. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. I'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. Is this guy just... This guy is just another Mondo. This is... Holy shit, is this like a simulation? Like, with like, just based off the other characters? What? Oh my god, this is... This is the idol girl again. Huh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Hmm. I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we've been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? Nani? Masaka? Bakana? What do you mean? I suddenly become aware of how heavy my body felt. Although feeling an unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? N M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Uh. This is... Or perhaps, does it make more sense I think this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean at Hope's Peak Academies? However... Um... But according to Hope's Peak Academies, no such entrance exam exists. But... She's the new Celeste, I'm calling it. Um... 
They may say that publicly, but it's possible this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Uh, you're wrong! This isn't an entrance exam! What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! What the fuck are you? Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you heard was not mine. Huh? Ah, then whose was it? Um... Oh, it's actually mine. <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. On the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone's arrived. Let's begin! What the fuck is this video game? Wait, that bunny thing was a real thing? What is that? That bunny thing was a real thing. The fuck? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical miracle girl Usami. A.K.A. Usami. Okay, so does that mean that Danganronpa 1 didn't happen and that the school mode is the canon ending? I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. I want someone to just run over and just squeeze her. Just be like, no. And then immediately get fucking killed by the spheres of gun gear. Nice to meet you all. Huh? What the fuck? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Ho <laughs> ho! What's going on? No, I see it too, man. Huh? <clears throat> What's with this talking chihuahua? Uh, eh? Like, that's a chihuahua? Everyone! <coughs> Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! Process this first. Okie dokie. Um, um, what do you guys think? Ho -ho. I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. Ho -ho. It's probably a remote control or something. Don't act like a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote control, doesn't look too life. Doesn't look too lifelike. That's a pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it's just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Oh, Biakia, why? Why? Like, everyone here has seen the, the, the LP I did of the original Danganronpa, right? Yes, probably, yes. Like, everyone remembers what, B what Biakia used to look like, right? Um... Uh... Like, in the first game... In the first game, he looked like this. So I, like, fucking... Be careful who you call handsome in high school. I managed to find the exact pose, too. Yep! <laughs> Also, like, sh he should not be here because he's old. He's way too old. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School say? trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? Yet yeah, all his poses are the exact same. He's just fat now. No, he's the only person. He's one of the only people that passed at the end of the game. A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with elite teachers, the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, 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 ding. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Part. Which this doesn't even happen inside Hope's Peak? It. No. This doesn't even take place inside Hope's Peak.
I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. Yeah, we're in a simulation. We're, we're inside a simulation. That's the only way I can- like, because the outside world at the end of Danganronpa 1 is destroyed. And Byakuya goes out there with the protagonist and some other people to fucking face that. So, did they rebuild everything and then restart Hope's Peak and just start putting students in simulation? Like, I mean, they have an AI. The guys would collapse like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. How is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. This makes no sense. Um. Um. <laughs> whoa, 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 what? Are you <laughs> kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Like, where are we? L Why? Huh? What's going on? Everyone! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There is no reason to panic, see? Look around! Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean, it's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? No idea, we're looking to find out. Hold on. Hold on, give us the details, where in the world are we? Um... Where you ask? Well obviously where? <laughs> out where it's better, out where it's wetter, <laughs> out by the sea! <laughs> I, I understand the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school, and now we're by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. But, like, why are we still on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're supposed to be attending Host Week Academy. I see. Ah, uh, Host Week Academy. I see. I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Host Week Academy, well then, in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Host Week Academy, that's why we're having a school trip in the first place! Bastard. What the fuck? This is, J this is Japan, I think, you're, I think they're giving their uniforms on day one. The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, when, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Oh. Byakuya, you should know exactly who she is. You helped build her. Like, and even then, you would have met Monokuma. What, what, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there's no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yeah, yeah but it certainly is beautiful. It's repaired just for us, an island free from other people and... Okay, yes, yeah, so the outside world is still basically on fire. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? <laughs> Someone's played the first game. Oh. Well, kill each other? Yes. No way. Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrify. Oh yeah, because she's the opposite of Monokuma. Yeah, yeah so scary. Well, then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax in this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with each other. Get those social links going. As the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. What did you say? Heart-throbbing school trip? <laughs> and fucking just... His arteries just all clog. It's always been kind of like Persona. Like, the first game you had the same idea, you had social links you have to get and they give you abilities. Spend these peaceful days, relaxing days, nourishing hope and lazing about. Free from pain, free from suffering. Yep, exactly. Truly, this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is... Everyone's homework! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin. Get you a girl. And or a guy. Because I was saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then just like that, the curtain slowly lowering. My mind ground to a halt. Oh my wamo. Shinderu. 
Dangan Islands. Oh, hey, now we have... Okay. Chiaki Nana... Ooh! So that's what her name is. I will say, I do like... I do like Chiaki Nana... Nana... Fuck. She's cute. I like her. Man, these names are going by really fucking quick. The guy with the chains is just a JoJo character. Welcome to Dangan Island. Are you ready? Are we just gonna go? I mean, maybe it's still a murder mystery. Maybe murders will still happen. I mean, it's still Dangan Rampa. Would you like to save? Yes, please. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm pretty out of it. Buster Wolf. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Uh, hey, I don't know. I didn't see listening? it. Like, those names went by way too fucking- Okay, so it's still Biakia. It's still Biakia. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone! There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Get a tan, you fucking fag! Yeah. I- it, they were- it was going by too fast, I couldn't catch it. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, the sun's rays beaming down on me. This soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. So to attend Hosuk Academy. Why did this? Why am I yet up here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. It's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. Spend the basic controls. With the mouse, you can move the reticle on the screen. The reticle responds. Press the left mouse button. You can examine that person or object. Then you can shift your point of view with the WASD keys. Plus, you press the tab key, you can use a serious power to see everything you could examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story. Okay. I'm missing some of the bee palm trees. I might find palm tree, but now's not time to be impressed. It's a PB monitor. What are these connected to? Yeah, this doesn't even make, like, this, fuck, there's just a TV monitor here. What's that? It's not connected to anything. Yeah. Nah, Biakia never killed anyone. Like, I, I would be surprised if Biakia was a murderer. Like, cause he, 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 he talked a big deal, but he was, like, a fucking coward. He never killed anyone. Trans camera. Are we being monitored? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to- <laughs> Don't worry about Big Brother. Maybe he's just a chill guy. All right. Okay, so... Because I have to talk to you. We're going to talk to that guy. Try to understand the situation I'm in. Well... Ocean? Crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for tropical islands. Just what's going on? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So how are you feeling? You calm down now? I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nagito. Why are you wearing the jacket? Oh my god. Ultimate lucky student. It kind of is. It kind of is, actually. I don't know. Like, he's also wearing Makoto's jacket. Like, other than the hair, he looks very much like Makoto. Kono Makoto da! Guess I'll tell you my talents, you know why Hosford Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you my case is pretty disappointing talent. What are you talking about? That's not it. 
It's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student, at least that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hosted Academy is the as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. So that's what happened to Makoto in the first game. I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like I never thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever get enter Host Week Academy. First I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently the so-called luck of mine is a talent even the school doesn't fully understand. The research in school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. <laughs> Hosting Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that, a guy like me was able to attend Hosting Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. Well, no, because you find out in the first game that that's a that's that's a ploy. That the ultimate lucky student, their real talent is that they're the ultimate hope. So their talent is being able to be super hopeful and optimistic. And basically, that's the main reason why Makoto survives, is because he never gives up. He never gives up. Even when, like, he's being fucking executed, he's still, he's still like, no, I'm gonna get through this, and just kind of bumbles his way through. That's the idea. Like, the idea is, like, if you have a positive outlook, then you can do anything. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place. So I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. This guy, however, may not actually be legit. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Nagato Kameeda, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. What's your ultimate talent? I... What is your talent? Oh no, he's forgot his talent. Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort come pounding against me. What happened? Oh god, what if he's the ultimate detective? Oh no. Ajime, what happened? No, oh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this and having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember it soon once you settle down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Hey, Hope Fragment! Wait, hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand in my pocket. Sorry, that strange mechanical sound just now is definitely came from inside my pocket. Oh, and they all have e-handbooks now! Hooray! I am the ultimate protagonist! What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Rusumi was passing that earlier, remember? <laughs> Alright, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mentioned it, I think I kinda remember it, but... What is this? <laughs> it's an e-handbook! What the... Where'd you come from? I'm sorry! Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> uh, I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um... Um, basically, the ultimate... The idea is that... If you are the best at what you do... Like, for example, like, like, you know, like, if you were, like, really, really good at, like, being a detective, right? Like, and you were, like, the best detective. Yeah, Host Peak would approach you and be like, hey, do you want to come to our school and learn how to t develop your talent? It's basically someone who's, like, so good at something that they're amazing, right? So, so, like, in, uh, like, in Persona terms... Yeah. So, like, in Persona terms, um, fucking, uh, Yusuke would be the ultimate artist, for example. So Yusuke would go here. You know? Nah. I mean, don't you think it's cool? That eight handbook is totally vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Th this device is that important? I I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather up all their hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. On this island, you'll attain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments with the fire of hope will cheese its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. So they gamified hope. Love, love. Hooray for love. Oh, I just noticed I have a level counter. Maybe? I don't know. 
I've, I've noticed I have a level thing, so maybe like that's my experience meter. H hey! She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. It's like she's just another Monokuma, but where is Monokuma? Uh, regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what's all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. It's almost like this is a simulation. <laughs> uh, if this feels like a game, it's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the elder students yet, right? Yep. I think it's best you introduce yourself to them. It's also true, but where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well. It's on the island. Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So why don't we finish introducing ourselves to others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. Then he's decided to come with me. Oh god, I have a fucking party member now. All right. Shall we get going then? Um, alright. Feel so relaxed in a strange situation, perhaps it's a tropical climate. Is that. What's your name? Usami's fault. What happened? Come on, let's go. Fuck. Never use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You know, you have it with the F1 key, it's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which everyone's. which relevant everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your games inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more! You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it. Please go forth and look for everyone else. Alright, you can exit the beach with the R key. Hey. Oh no. Here's a map of the items installed on this e handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually. Before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. This guy is just Makoto! He's ev everything he's saying and everything he's doing is just Makoto! Nagido! I- yeah, no, this is a simulation. Byakuya came in as himself, because he's a vain asshole. And Makoto came in disguised... ...so he could keep an eye on people. And Alter Ego's gonna be around here somewhere, being like, Hi, Vice, meet you here, oh, hi! I haven't learned everything, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Oh, uh, you don't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards on online dedicated to talking about its students. I don't recall seeing your name there, I probably overlooked it. Well, it's not your fault if you can't really remember. Some mistake goes out of Seven Hooks Academy. Alright, let's go find everyone. Something I forgot to tell you, if you look at the map in Ehemon, you'll be able to see where everyone is. You can also simply travel to any location marked as go. Have a point with an exclamation park, let's go your progress. So we've made it, now let's go. Yes! Travel me on the island, not through this screen. You can move with the WASD keys, you can run by holding the shift key when you move. If you press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. When radical response, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You probably realize by now, but you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using a map jump. If you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Fuck! They're going out of their way to. Oh, I'm trying to move. It's not working. They're going out of their way to make you fucking want to. Okay, I'm back in here now. To make you want to fucking walk places instead of fast travel. God damn it. Um. Can't move. This is weird, it's not working. Only when I only when I wiggle my mouse does the actual does the W A S and D actually work. This is bad. Like I have to be wiggling my mouse. This is I feel like there's a bug here, okay, so we got a branch with weird cows. Okay, so look, there's a hotel, okay. Maybe, I might have to switch. Go to Marketplace. Alright, what else we got? Uh... Okay. Oh, so it was like an egg or something.
Can I just... Okay, it does the same thing on controller, so look. It does nothing. Does nothing, but... If I'm holding the- if I'm holding the- the right stick in the direction... Or if I wiggle it... Me, me, fe me feels like this game is bugged. Just a little bit. I just gotta wiggle- I just gotta wiggle the mouse. Alright. And then it just loops back around. Okay, so we got some stuff to do. Yeah, that seems like that's a bug. Looks like we can look across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? We're gonna find out. So looks like we get there, what will you do? Fucking get it get a gun. Get out the gun. So what's through here? Oh, this is another I probably should go back and look at the other places. I don't know. I don't know, my dude. Like, this is my first time running this game, so... I guess I just gotta get used to wiggling the mouse. Just wiggle it. Usami Corral. As long as everything else works, it's fine. This is like a ranch. There aren't many animals around. Ah, right? uh, you found it out. You Seriously, where'd you keep appearing from? I, I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. Yes, yeah, this is yeah the system. This is a this is a simulation. Zaldax says handy dandy magic stick. She's talking about that toy she's holding. Mm. So I am quite troubled. Ranch at any mook house like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> Mana rephrase that. I right, leave me my handy dandy magic stick. What? What? Yeah, no, this is... Yeah, no, we are, we are not in the real world. This is a simulation. A uh, huge success. What's all that just now? A chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. I think some sort of trick or illusion. Bet it was set up before we got here. It's only trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. If you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change it to a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Alright, so, what's this little lolly here? What's her deal? She is so fucking tiny. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her sweat, all her strength. Uh, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. I'm Hiyoko Sayanji. I wasn't too far off with the voice, was I? Ultimate traditional dancer. Alright. So why is she why is she like eight years old? She has to stop pressing her finger in the floor. She says, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice is so young. I can't believe she's actually high school. She's like seven. Actually. Gyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Oh, yes! Ambiguous pedophilia. Totally because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche. What exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm squishing! Squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! Mr. Ed, of course, I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants! I like to feel their lives end! Come again! <laughs> Hey, if you squish their tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Hell no! Okay. Ah, oh, you wuss. The fuck? Alright, I'll just leave you to the, to the fucking ant murder, you fucking serial killer. Wait, who? Who did I miss? Oh! This is someone over there. Hey, not Owie. Yeah, maybe. Like, that's just Owie! It's just- hang on. I don't know how many people here have actually seen the Danganronpa LP, so...
Okay, so this is whoever this person is, right? And then... And then this is Owie. Like... Say, like, like, take, take that hair down, take this jacket off. Like, that's just Owie. Like, seriously. Like, and I bet they're going to be just as stupid. Yeah. Well, that's how- that's... <laughs> well, I mean, that's her name. A-A-O-I. How the fuck do you pronounce that? I don't know. Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Gotcha. Who's this other dude? What? Uh, haven't we already met? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. I met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagato Kameda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Even starts with an A. Ultimate gymnast. All oh, right, and Aoi was the ultimate swimmer. Well. Yeah, Nagito and Hyoko are this. Are this, yeah. Like. So that's three people so far that are the same fucking person. Nagito is just Makoto. Aoi is. Aoi is just Akane. Or, other way around, sorry. And Byakuya is Byakuya. He didn't even try. Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. For her basic fundamentals all over the place, her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. Just like fucking how Aoi would do it, because Aoi is a fucking idiot. She's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. I bet she, I bet she just, like, just non-stop eats donuts, just like Aoi. Is this a reboot? Like, fuck, dude. Or is it, like, actually a simulation when they're fucking in here to fuck with us? Because, because all the people that, because all the people that we've met so far that are just the same person, like, okay, so who survived, who survived the end of Danganronpa? It was Aoi survived, Byakuya survived, Makoto survived... Yeah, maybe. Who else survived the first game? Toga survived. So if we run into someone who's just Toga, or not Toga, um, Toko, sorry. If we run into someone who's just Toko, then fuck me. Yeah, no, like, they're just, like, they're in here to fuck with us. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic at. Oh yeah, Yasuhiro, yes, and Kyoko. Forgot about Kyoko. I can't visualize her normal high school. Leader. So if we, we run into a fucking weirdo hippie, then... Don't tell me you... Oh, I guess you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud, I know you're doing that on purpose. Alright. Yeah, so we run into fucking someone who's just Yasuhiro, then I'm gonna be calling bullshit. I mean, already, like, there's that girl who looks just like Chihiro, Chiaki. Same fucking, like, root name as well. That's a pretty nice hotel! Perhaps. And, Ch and Chihiro technically survived by turning herself into an AI. Hotel Mirai, huh? It's like the name for the Japanese word for future. When we're told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. We can live in a grand hotel like this. I don't think we'll have to worry about it being comfortable. Come here's an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can we just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Hey, man. When I when I did this the first time, I was stuck in a fucking... I was stuck in a dorm room. Oh, God. The rabbits to hear. Oh, that'd be great. Hi, everyone. I made myself a rabbit. Yay. It seems obvious this area would make a good base. So why don't we look around for a bit? That's this guy so comes. Like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. It's almost like he's done this before. Map reads maybe press the tab key. So the tab key don't make me repeat myself. Oh shit! Now I've got like an actual free room. Oh, and this is where all the dorms are. Cool.
Pussy like which makes shit hotel guest room. Yes, yeah, so you get a whole fucking cottage. Like this is a big upgrade from fucking This is a big upgrade from what they had in the first game. Hello, Mr. Weirdo. What is your t What is your talent? This guy is just Mondo, but Mondo died, so fuck. Hmm? That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh. My name! I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Yada yada does it. Like, fucking hell, Jotaro, calm down. Like, if... Like, if, uh, if, if... Oh my god, like, seriously, if, uh, if Mondo was Josuke, this guy is fucking Jotaro. Hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let the voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hajime Hanada. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hanada. Please make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nida. Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. This is like, yeah, this is like Mondo if Mondo had soccer as built. The fuck? No need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. I agree to your terms. This... Yeah, this guy is if... This guy is if Sakura and... And Mondo had a baby. Yep. Negmar and Nida is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one. Nope. He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. Whereas he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Rumor has he's even turning that famous Japanese picture already plays in the American League. But he's like a high schooler. <laughs> With a build like that, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Alright, I yeah, no, I'm gonna avoid that guy best I can. Speaking of people I'm gonna try and avoid, this guy seems like a prick. Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass! This guy's already in a crappy mood. What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? Introduce yourselves. Hey. So you've been probably introduced to each other, right? <laughs> oh my god, this guy's such a fucking prick. That blush makes me think it might be a girl, though. He does have a blush. Name's might be a girl. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. B -b -b baka The ultimate Yakuza. Alright. Hello, Mr. Yakuza. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuza Yuru clan. Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? He's the largest criminal syndicate in the nation when the membership is passing 30,000. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. Actually, By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is excessively forbidden, so you better be careful. You run out of fingers before he's done with you. Agda, you're like my savior. <laughs> you're just exaggerating, I guess not. Hey, bastard! Hey, bastards! If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Jesus. Alright, well, another guy I'm not gonna be hanging out with. Hey, who are you? Hey! Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah. You are a hey, boy, you gotta right? keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm my hero, Koizumi. Oh. I'll be counting on you from now on. Make like a tree and get out of here! What are you doing in my basement? Get out of here! And she's the ultimate photographer. Actually, Mihiro is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert in photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Why is there a camera angle? Well, there's a camera angle from her neck, I guess I assume that. Aww. I'm a little relieved, you guys seem decent enough. <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here, I can't tell if you're just ultimates or, like, just insane. We need to get along with everyone so we can get off the island, but I'm worried things wouldn't go well. 
Oh, Jesus. I, I mean, she doesn't seem too bad. Like, just she just likes to take photos and shit. Huh? That's what Slipdown and Lucy were saying. You finish collecting all the hope fragments you earn by getting along with everyone. Come on. The joke school trip will over, and we can all leave this island together. So there's... You just gotta make friends with everyone. And you can leave. Hey. This is... This is seems to be way too easy for a dog and Rompa game. When is the murder going to happen? What? I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal. Until okay. Hey, you. Don't end. Um, What's the instruction? Oh yeah. So he's Hajime. He does his thing. I. Right. You better do your best. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. All right. She's she's really. She's really going for him, huh? You better man up and do better, got it? Honestly, if she's Tumblr, then, like, she wouldn't be saying that it's the boy's job to take care of the girls. She's saying, like, I don't need no man. I don't need no men folk. So, I mean, hey, I guess it's fine. Alright, so we got a bunch of people. Even inside this place, the Grand too. Really normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. Why are the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island, it can't be helped. For an uninhabited island, this hotel is pretty well kept and electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this island? Alright, so let's start with... Actually, let's start with her. What's your deal? State your business. Well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction. Understood. Understood, I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata, nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Peko Pekoyama. Okay, what are you good at? The ultimate swordsman! Whoa, no. This dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Pekka Pekiyama could be skilled with a blade. I heard she's a kendo master and the most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. There's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. Wait. Wait. She reminds me of Taka. Like, same red eyes, same hair color, same Nazi armband. Ooh, hang on. If what that rabbit said was true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women to live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate! I would prefer not to kill anyone. Yeah, no, she's she's talking now. I someone had to have the voice, and she's getting it. Isn't that sword your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missing blow can be fatal. Well, well an end blow can be fatal too. Nine. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Well, hey, there he goes. If this sword doesn't kill you, this icon will! Eh. There's some girl playing an arcade game. She looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. You haven't probably introduced yourself to her either, right? Yeah, you're right. She's really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Hey! Chiaki! <gasps> oh, sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. That is just Chihiro. That is just Chihiro. Like, hang on. Hang on, where's a actually decent sized picture? It it is look, look at that. That that is just Chihiro. Like, it's minor differences, but like, no, like, it's same face shape, same... Like, that, they're the same fucking person. Look at that shit. Uh, shame I must have been too focused on my game. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Um, uh, let's see, alright. Oh yeah, introductions, got it! I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. I like my voice Video for her better. Are my hobby. And I'm a fan of all genres. Nice to meet you. Hooray! The ultimate gamer. It's just Chihiro. 
I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. No, you know what I mean, Xemnas. Like, there's, like, Danganronpa, like, there's, there's normally, like, a differences in face shape and shit, you know? Yep. He's like, this conversation's getting rather slow. Or she's gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't help that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. The focus on her game, it hasn't looked to me at all. She may be the ultimate video game, but now how do you play video game like a time like this? Uh, sleepy. I'm sleepy. Yeah, it's like a more vulgar Chihiro. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Maybe... Maybe, uh, Alter Ego... Maybe Alter Ego, like... Maybe that's Alter Ego's avatar in here. And, and, and Chihiro was just like, I want to have titties this time. But I do like her. I like her design. It's fun. Where's the traps? Hey, and there's Mickey Mouse. This is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous. We can easily hold a banquet here. It's this kind of tropical, open country feeling. Death turns your hero transgender. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's a, if, I mean, Ch uh, Alter Ego is an AI based on Chihiro's brain. Uh, and so if Ch so if Alter Ego and by extension Chihiro wanted to, they could literally make their avatar whatever the fuck they want. Uh, even though we're stuck on the island? Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh, well, if it's interesting ourselves. There are two people talking over there. What? That's right, ho ho! I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison, ho ho! It really sucks, ho ho! Speaking of which, it'd be rather great if you could use your mouth to suck it out, ho ho! Um... Poison, I see. Hey, did you guys have a moment? Denied, ho ho. Denied? Good day. Hello, it is nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. Why, hello there, ho! You must be the new guy! My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. On the streets? But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I really don't like this guy. I, I liked him better when I thought he was Mickey Mouse. I liked him better. I liked him better when he was when he was Mickey Mouse. Hey, girl, you want to get on this dick? Ho -ho. I am sorry. Who that reminds me? I'm not properly introduced to myself either. I'm totally sorry to keep you waiting. Ho -ho. My name is Sonia. Never mind. Yeah, no, she's just Celeste again. She's just Celeste. Ultimate prit for fuck's sake. Not ultimate gambler, but same <laughs> mentality. I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Nova Selic. It may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here, I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glares like fields of wheat. It's like she has this mysterious charm I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess. I mean, she's actually royalty. I might be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, and this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Okay. What are you happy about, girl? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend of age who was standing society match my own. Okay. So to be able to experience something... Yeah, do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. Yeah, she has that white privilege. I I shall extol your virtues! Extol my virtues? Thanks, girl! Shit! I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow! Alright, we made friends! Hey, you three! Have I been left off the menu or something? Ho -ho. No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru, it's not- it's like- so like you to check out the restaurant first. The ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested! Ho -ho. And since I do, want, do not want to be a liar, then truthfully! Ho -ho. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> well, guess that's about it. Yes. 
Oh, I like the big city flavor of my hometown. Oh, a country atmosphere like this is also splendid. Oh. Hey, are you? I understand. Fuck it, you know what? Refined, cultured, and guilty as a charge. <laughs> Mamma mia. No, not that. You just seem, don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? I mean, what's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. I'm not. I'm gonna stop that voice for the moment, because that's getting painful now. Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pe Pecco is actually a bit of a freak if you catch my me. Oh, he's talking about... He's talking about them titties. He's talking about them titties. Mamma mia. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Now then, shall we suggest discuss this somewhere privately? Come on. Come on. Come on. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonya over there is a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um... Nah, nah, see, like, when he's, like, being normal, it's the Mickey voice, but when he's being a rapist, he's like, oh -ho! Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> We'll discuss this later! <laughs> Just like the real Mickey Mouse. Creepy as fuck. I better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but looking forward to living on this island! <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient! This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Oh, Jesus. Hello, my name is Tara Tara. Oh, I'm legally required to inform you I'm in the sexual offender registry. Oh. I mean, if he goes after Pecco, Pe uh, uh, after Pecco, then he's going in the oven. Like, he's going in the oven. Like, hey, Pecco, let me see them titties go. She's like, would you like to go in the oven now or later? Oh. Alright, so is there anywhere else for me to go? Okay, and it just puts me back outside. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. So I should be able to just leave now. Alright, so... So I'm level three. Oh, that's great. Big... Him, Mickey being a creep on Italian when he's not a creep, but okay. Uh, I got a feeling he's gonna be a creep more often than not. Alright, going, going, sprinting, and away with the mouse. Like, why do I gotta jiggle the mouse to run? That's weird. Alright, so this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. I see Coke. Ree! So this is super, it's pretty big. We're on Tropical Island. Does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech, but there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? What? I'll fight you, Yamda. You certainly see all the skeptical type. Even this supermarket is strange. Look at around, we're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody here except us. But that can't be helped. Didn't you suddenly say this is uninhabited? So why is there a supermarket? What happened? He's staring at me funny. Uh, um, you know. I'm sorry. Oh god. Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. You bully. I didn't do anything. Ah, uh, so your name is Hajime. Is it okay with you? Are you pleased to remember your name? Uh, of course, we don't mind you remembering it, but... Kinda reminds me of Toko a little bit. She reminds me of Toko just a tiny bit. Especially because she's got like something to disguise her forearms, just like Toko wore a dress to describe the fact she cuts herself on her thighs. Like... 
Hang on. I don't remember Toko's last name. Let me just... It's not... It's not the closest. Hang on. It's not, the, it's not the closest, but it's got the same eye color, doesn't wear glasses, same hair color, and... And if you were to wrap these strands up in twin tails, it wouldn't be too different. So, I mean, Toko survived, so we found Toko. I I am convinced this is a simulation, and there's just, like, the survivors of the original Hope's Peak are fucking with us. The ultimate nurse. Well, Toko did like to use her fucking cutting instruments, if you know what I'm saying. Toko was very skilled with a scalpel, if you know what I mean. Because she was a serial killer! <laughs> ah, my mind is drawing a black mare for this, oh no. Yeah, no, she's super yandere, just like Toko. Like, like, she is Toko. We are get- we are just getting, like, redos. And I went through the trouble of remembering 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. Like, she's, like, way more shy than Toko is, though. It's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. It will wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> I mean, Toko can graduate to scalpels if she wants. Ah, ah. Is she is just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you need her help. It's best to get along with her now. You get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good positive possibility you'll get an infection and die! Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> hey, I love blood, haha. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. <laughs> Toko loved that chloroform. Just I can't help it, I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Just like the real Toko. Oh, Not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. Bullying a girl, not cool, Hajime. Why does this keep happening? What is, what is this? Why is this? One big cola bottle. I bet it goes flat where you can finish drinking it. Challenge accepted, motherfucker. Like vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some sort of a coin? Okay, so I still have mono coins. You're being watch all the same. Not really a good feeling. What? <laughs> oh, hi! Like, who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Ultimate Tumblr, yep. Hello, like, your tension's like super low. You're feeling alright? Oh! Ah, oh, that's right, introductions are a go go! Ibuki Mioda! Ri! Okay. Straight up. She reminds me of. Oh god. Hang on. Is there even any. Oh god. Is there even any fucking. Oh god. Hang on, let's let's put these side by side. Hang on, I need to see something. Where's a good image? Man, it's so hard to find a good image of this character that's not either porn or something stupid. I guess this'll do. Is it just me? Ugh. 
like, she reminds me of Junko for some reason. Yep. Yeah, but she she also died first, so. Like she reminded me of a cross between Junko and and Sayaka. Oh. Like if if like kind of like a cross between Sayaka and Junko. Like Junko's like Junko's uh speech pattern with a little bit of Sayaka sprinkled in. Oh yeah, Saturday was supposed to be a random stream, but I I wanted to do this because I I Yeah, uniform is closer to Sayaka. It's like so Sayaka and Junko are put in a blender, but they also died in that game, so yeah, the Saturday was supposed to be random day, but I didn't want to do just a random indie game because I wanted to start on this. So, eh. So, like, random random days will return. Ultimate Musician. I... Yes. I still... Yeah, no, this is 110 billion percent, like... Like, I didn't even mention it at the time, but that Ultimate Chef... Yeah. That, that Ultimate Chef... Reminds me of um, of Hifumi from Danganronpa Danganronpa One. Like, oh god, most of you haven't actually seen that LP. Uh... So, so this is so this is Hifumi. Y you can see the similarities. He's the ultimate, he's the ultimate doujin writer, or fanfic creator in English, and he is a giant pervert. Anytime this woman is on screen, who is the equivalent of that princess, he's trying to get his dick over. I, yeah, I think this is a, I think this is a simulation, and you've got characters from the original game that are in here with us, trying to fuck around with us. And then everyone else is based off an amalgam of other students from that thing. Because, like, that team captain guy seems very much like an amalgam of Sakura and, uh... Of Sakura and Mondo from the first game. It's really weird. Like, alright, introductions are finished. Now, most importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problem. Okay, calm down there, Igor. Like Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and like even people from Ubari would shop here. Fucking Ubarians. Like man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. Oh no. Like, and when I'm excited, I get hungry mongry. Hey, Slender, we're, we're all concerned and confused. Like, I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Like, how do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> yeah, the human body, like, sure is a mystery. <laughs> um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She's probably going to be the first person to snap and try and kill us. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. And their hit single, After School Pyo-Yo Yon Hour, sold over a million copies. Just like Sayaka. Just like Sayaka. Sayaka had that exact same backstory. That sounds familiar. You had a creative difference that she left the band to pursue her solo career. Like, are you interested? Like, duh, Ibuki's a musician after all. Some these some of these people aren't musicians. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Wait, most of the people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. <laughs> like, don't sweat the details. Well, 
Well, I mean, that's what happened with, uh... That's what happened with Sayaka, too. Sayaka was the first murderer, but she... Okay, so Sayaka in the first game, she was the first murderer, but also the first victim. Because she was fucking awful. So she... So there was a guy in the first game called Leon, who was a baseball star. Um... Sayaka tried to fucking murder him. But Leon, in self-defense, turned the knife around and stabbed her. So... Yeah, I imagine Nagito is, is Snake. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Makoto fucking with us. So, yeah. Did I count... Okay, that counted. Yeah, so... It's like, could you imagine, like... Like, imagine how fucking bad that was for Leon, right? Like, you're just trying to live and let live, and some fucking dumb bitch... ...just rolls up, comes at you with a knife, you fucking kill her out of self-defense... ...and then you get executed for murder, like, even though you didn't want to commit murder. Like, it's some bullshit. And we have airplanes! Does anyone know how to fly? Uh. Nah, that's impossible, man. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. <laughs> yep. It's almost as if Sayaka was a fucking moron. How about that? Just for show. Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Where Bonus' Island must have also done that, right? Same person who's controlling that stuff down will lose to me. But who's doing this? And why did they bring us this island in the first place? And how'd they do it? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes. That's right! Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. I'm trying to think who this guy's an amalgam of, but I think this guy might actually be unique. I think this guy might actually be unique, because I don't- I can't really draw any con parallels between him and someone else, but maybe it's in his personality somewhere. Yes! It's made for someone called the old mechanic, which is a savant when it comes to fixing machines, but nothing else. This buzz will fix this plane, is truly beyond her player. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T, man. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, and- Wait! 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 Wait up! This attitude... This guy is just hero. This attitude is just hero. Like... His appearance is, like, completely unique, like, it doesn't even re resemble anyone from the first game. But this personality, like, this vapid, like, hey, that just fucking happens, whatever, bro. That's just Hero. All he needs now is to try and sell us something, and he is just Hero. Oh shit, you're right! It's Leon's appearance! Right, yeah, because it's- no, because it, he looks like Leon. Leon with long hair and a fucking do-rag on. So it's Leon's appearance, but Hero's personality. Huh? I mean... Well, think about it, it's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for this school trip. Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? It's a bean. He looks like a do-rag to me. Extreme violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each other when working together to retain hope fragments. Glittering is not allowed. Let's consider society's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The well, lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. Any exceptions rules made if any student violates a rule. Oh, hey, there's the rule book. Hooray. For now. Looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't it be like any other school trip? Mm. Nothing dangerous on this island. Spend three peace these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope? As Usui said earlier. It seems like these rules are in place to help us do that. Fucking Hajime is... Haj it's like Hajime, like, knows about Danganronpa 1. He's like, no, there's something going on here. Optimism is essential people live satisfied lives. That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our occasion to see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> uh, yes. Toko. Toko was a, was a, was a serial killer, and she, she's a, she was a serial killer with disassociative identity, uh, disassent, dis, 
associative identity disorder and she would cut herself on her thighs every time she killed someone. So she wore a long dress to disguise it. As you know how carefree he's being right now. Alright, what about you, Edgelord? Is this where the creepy bit of hero comes with when? Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Can you see all of me? Come on now and set me free. I am all, I am all of me. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. I am, I am all of me. I am. Huh? I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. I am the ultimate life form! <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others might see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Call me Gundam Tanaka. Gundam Tanaka! For it is the name that will one day rule this world. I have lived in isolation for many years, practicing the blade. Ultimate Breeder? While you were playing video games, I studied the vagina. Like, I like, like, I know, like, he probably means, like, breeding animals or something, but I just like to imagine that, like, he's just really good at having sex. Uh. Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Who's master are you? Huh? Eh? Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! What do you mean, pact? Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Then be best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet. Oh, the only animals I'll take care of was our hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible. So, a mere insect. Ah, your magic essence is a caps in a lowly five. Trash! Trash, really? Yeah. <laughs> Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare speak to one as grand as me! My name is Gundam Tanaka! Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka! Supreme Overlord of Ice! I have deported s I just noticed he ha he just has fucking combat hamsters. I don't live on this planet anymore. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. That uh, seems to be Yamda. <laughs> it's like something you see on a nature show, I guess. It's only fits the bill of the ultimate breeder. <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going ang and easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Why? Why? But why, though? 
So yeah, he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. <laughs> Rumor has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Let's see with animals, we're well, certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. All right, let's get out of here and leave the crazy man alone. The hamsters are named after shonen magazines. Oh my fucking god, of course they are. Alright, so now I guess we're gonna go to the other island. This is still really dumb, I have to just move the mouse. Alright. What do we got? We're still missing a bunch of people, right? Okay, so there's a second island that is locked. I leveled up, so... Having just pooped is all that thing does. Wait, what? Jabberwock Park. Yeah, that seems to be. Hey, Biakia! So this is the park. This is park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> Feels so nice. If we were in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself, if being the keyword. If I meet someone named Alice, run. Hey, your instructions is going. I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may already notice we have a level assigned to you. Play in the top right corner of your screen. You'll increase by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up. So, don't fast travel. Don't fast travel. If you fast travel, then you're fucked. Biakia! What do you want? What do you want? No. Even his body is overwhelming. Oh shit. Ah, Biakia, have time for a small introduction? Hmm. Introduction? No. Hello, my name is Hajime. Wait, hello, my name is Hajime Hanada. My name is Biakia Togami. No, no, I'm fat! Yeah, and he's still the ultimate affluent apology. That hasn't changed. I'm done, that's it, right? Back off. But why? Actually. That guy's particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. He's one of the actor called the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the ep epitome of exceptional. It's like a manga origin story. <laughs> I think this... You know what? Biakia was nothing but mean to, to Chihiro, so I imagine if Alter Ego is running this, which would make sense, because Alter, Alter Ego is an AI. I think, I can imagine that, yeah, like, she dis, she like, disguise everyone else, except Biakia, because Biakia was always an asshole to Chihiro. So, I, I can see, I can see, I can see them just going like, no, fuck him. Fuck him. You there, Hajime, was it? <laughs> oh, great! That's great, Xemnas! Huh? Why did Hostgate Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? The thing is, I honestly can't remember. WAIT! 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 I'm Kyoko. I'm- uh, My character is Kyoko. I've been like, oh, where's Kyoko at? When am I gonna run into the ultimate fucking, like, detective? No! Kyoko didn't know she was the ultimate detective. She forgot her talent at the start of the first game. And she didn't realize it until the end. So... I'm Kyoko now. The first, so the first game you're playing is the ultimate lucky student, which evolves into the ultimate hope at the end. And your best friend is Kyoko who's the ultimate question mark, because nobody fucking knows what her special talent is, including her. So... Now, I'm playing as- I'm playing as the ultimate detective, but so I don't solve the mystery, they deleted my memory of my- of my talent. I'm Kyoko now. What? You don't remember? <laughs> Apparently he lost his memory due to shock, you can't really remember much. Mm, how fool it! Oh god, that fucking looks so awful. Um, yes. 
I do believe I have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. The only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Oh, fucking stop thin shaming me, Biakia. <laughs> Let's just leave Hajime. This guy's mean. He's a mean boy. Yeah, sure thing. Is building an overwhelming order of refinement just pushes people away. Is that what it means to be the ultimate affluent progeny? By being fat? Ding dong, bing bong! Is that- did I- I didn't huh? get everyone, though! I didn't get to everyone! Congratulations, everyone! It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments! I'm... I'm so happy! So... I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. Did I did I get everyone? I don't think I did. I blazed through. Okay, neat. <laughs> May shining I thought there was one more. What so just about know? everyone is an amalgam of existing characters from the first game. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna teleport there. Fuck it. I'm annoyed now. Alright. Alright, where's the beach? Better be an M60. Uh, no, you need, an M you need an M4. You need that automatic one. I did meet everyone. Okay. You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly-dallying for? <laughs> but I fast-traveled, though. One point, there's only time to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> yeah, let's talk! Uh -huh. Yes, kill them all. Listen. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the, the A4 is automatic. The, the M16 itself, I think, is burst fire. I don't know. Now, let me hear your initial impression of this island. Now that you mention it. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh! Like, oh, those are like so everybody doesn't get lost. I like, I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. <laughs> what? So if you don't get lost, is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's gonna resort in everything. Well, not that I've ever been to resort before, but... Hey, hey. Also, there's a big ridge! Um, um, there's also a large supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm... The hotel looks really nice. Wait, um, fuck. The hotel looks really nice, too. It'd be great if we could stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel is also really nice. Seems to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Oh, can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? <laughs> I found something very important on this island! Oh, oh. I can't stop girls! Very, very cute girls. Haha, <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> like, gross! I'm getting goosebumps! <laughs> all of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. If no one here. <laughs> fuck. If no one here's realized that you're all bigger fools than I thought. What do you say, you fat bastard? Don't you be talking all big and shit! Such ignorance. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. Like, that guy is just another Togami. Except he's a criminal instead of a fucking conglomerate boy. What does that mean? Um... How you doing, girl? How you doing, girl? The most serious truth... I fell asleep. She just fell asleep. Oh god, that's adorable. Alright, what the fuck do you mean? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did you find something out about this island? Hmm. Have you gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with that weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Listen. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said the five holy animals symbolize each of the surrounding islands. Eh? Huh? Listen. That island's name is... Jabberwock Island. Oh, that would explain the name of the park. 
Is that the name of this island? Very strange. Still, something is on my mind. That going what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hm. Never mind. Nah, Byakuya, stop hiding shit, you fucking prick. You know everything! You've done this before! Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story you told us! Don't worry. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. I don't care what this island's called. Nika Nika Island or Papa Island or whatever. Don't change the fact we're all gonna live here, right? Yeah. Like, living together on the Serpico Island sure is exciting! Like, I'm super looking forward to it. Right on, this isn't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys? I like it! I like this island too! No one will hear the murders! Oh, can't say the same about the rest of you, Credence! Huh? Oh, did I hear something? Oh, oh. Hmm. I'm so worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yes, this is no danger of inconvenience. I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hopeswick Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Fiend. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. Eh? To tell you the truth. Uh... God, I can't do the Mickey Mouse voice. I can't keep bouncing around with that. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way... Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can... <laughs> there's no ship and the planes are just for show. It appears... From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um... Then why don't we just swim out? It's impossible! There's no way we could swim that far! Show some spirit! What? Jesus! Are you stupid? Jesus Christ, they're all bullying! I won't let you! Nah, -uh, you can't do that, that's the biggest of no-nos! These are called the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and its mutual prosperity. Oh, Jesus. This is gonna be one of those streams that never goes over two hours. Holy shit. God, I want everyone to live, a, live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. Who cares about that? That's enough. Stop this ramp is even rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, one of your actions was everyone here in danger. Oh, uh, the word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. How'd you make? Uh, you need to calm down, little. Stop trying to escape this island, you fuck. Because we didn't render anything beyond the ocean. For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. Yep. And as long as we gather hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. I was gonna believe that. <laughs> there's no choice but believe. For now, that is. Like, anyway, Usami, where's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? God. Ah, uh, that's right, of course, I didn't forget. Hi, this is it. Don't be upset, I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. A keychain? It's an Usami strap. If you squeeze the tummy, it talks. I'm Usami. Magical miracle girl, Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. A little Usami keychain. That's adorable. That's adorable. What a waste of time. Aww. Man, I like got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you never ever received their strap, they just toss them on the Oh, that's mean! Stop littering! Oh god, I, I'm expecting the Spears of Gun Gear to come out and just fucking stab her now. Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Oh, can I take one? Can I take one? Oh, I want to just take one so she's not sad. No bully. Her Usami strap is not that big of a deal, but it's a prepared a motive for everyone. A motive for everyone to get along. We've come this way to Tropical Island, so I thought it'd be great to something island themed. <laughs> Oh. There, so they're still. So this is like Danganronpa, but in Danganronpa, there was like the first gift was a motive for murder. So like everyone was like, "Hey, here's a reason for you to fucking kill everyone." And uh, but here it's like, here's a motive for you not to be assholes. Anyway. 
to me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of poison. I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! God damn. Can we just kill that guy already? God damn it, she's too fucking pure. Just ignore him, Sonya! Pretend he doesn't exist! Did... Did you guys... Did you guys hear what that little girl just said? I feel like she's gonna be one of the first people to do a murder. I don't know, just me. Let's kill! You serious? Is look is looking for one not good enough for you? I see. So if everyone has different ideas or if you're gonna be hit the ocean and first. So that's what it's all about. This is A swimming bag? Love. Correct. Yeah, that little girl is gonna be the first one to snap and kill someone. My nose itches, hang on. Well that means. Ah, uh, swimsuits for everyone. Well, school swimsuits, actually. I hope that's okay. It's time to swim! Hajime, stop being a prick! Seriously, Hajime is the only person not having fun. Uh... Wait! Don't tr stop trying to understand him, please. Let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Musami. Well, Mystic, remember when we first ran into her, she was she was crushing ants because she liked the noise they made. We're gonna straight to the hotel to change. Hajime. <laughs> hey, Phillips, I'd be happy if you came along too. No danger on this island. There's nothing tragic going to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually- YES! God, like, I feel like Hajime is going to be, like, start looking for something to fucking complain about, and he's going to, like, release Monokuma or something. You're not going to swim? <laughs> now it's more fun to s Now it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach! I see. Okay, what about you, not Aoi? They're like she's staying too. That sounds special. She's a more active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Eh. Of course I am. Why? I've got flotation devices. So I, I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. And what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. Right. So let's hurry up and swim. She's just. She's just gonna get her titties out. She was gonna swim naked. No, whip your titties out! What about you, Chiaki? You're not gonna swim? Creepy. I'm not really sleepy right now. You probably feel asleep while you're swimming. I'd probably drown! Well, like, definitely drown. But sleeping in a situation like this, you sure got some bold nerves. Speaking <laughs> of which, everyone has returned. As soon as I said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping in the ocean, shouting with joy. Jesus Christ! Ho- like... Alright. That muscle man, you know what? The, his- those guys' muscles, they're legit. Because either he had a really big dick before the steroids, or those are legit. I want to believe legit. I want to believe that's legit. Yay. We're, we're just about done here, Mystic. So, you, you can go if you want, I don't mind. Not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Can someone drop kick oh, that man? You're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply right <laughs> Yes, Nekumaru, my boy! Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. Embrace the gay! Alright, no problem. My teeth oh, are pretty open, you know. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. <laughs> you fucking whore! <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of- He has embraced the gay! What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? 
Oh my fucking god. That guy's gonna stick his dick into everything. So you guys are just having all this fun. I... <laughs> and we seem to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. As this will be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Keep up the pace and do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. Yes, because you're being a fucking jackass. Huh? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Oh, I can't believe I was anyone where I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Yeah, hey, party guys, time. Don't forget about me. Hey, hey, wait for me. Let me join in the fun. Wait, huh? What? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Do you guys notice that seam just going down the middle of the sky? What is this? It's strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Hmm? Uh huh. Hey, what's going on? What did you do? It's obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. Yeah, this is yeah. So like, there's a glitch in the matrix. Someone is hacking in, and they're gonna turn. And they're gonna bring back Monokuma.exe. What is this? I didn't do anything. What is all this? No way, something like this shouldn't be happening. That exact moment. It just seemed like this couldn't get more confusing. It suddenly happened. Monokuma! Mic check! Mic check! Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, it's Monokuma! I do, I do miss Monokuma's Japanese voice. They sound like an old lady. But is it from the new zombies? An endless sort of malice can be felt raging behind that laid-back voice. And the moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprise! You were totally surprised. Like Nagato should be like, oh, for fuck's sake! I thought we solved this problem. Right. Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. It's time for murder! Could it be? Oh no, if this is- oh, it's very bad, I gotta do something! It's all up to me! Very strange. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. You know who Monokuma is, Byaki. Yeah, stop fucking with us! It's best if we go to... Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry! Hey! What about everyone who's swimming? Yeah, truly. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Oh god. What the hell's going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What the hell's going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? You not gone? Aww. Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Hi. Fine, I'll just kill them later! You guys better run while you can. <sighs> Alright. I mean, that would be surprising. Why can't I fast travel? Oh, it just automatically goes, alright. As we arrive at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice can be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you! But where are you? Where are you hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> hey, Monokuma! Hey. Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> oh no, this is spooky shit. Alright, where is he at? Where is he at? Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! How do you exist, Monokuma? Your creator is dead. Him saying, him saying that makes me think that, yeah, no, some of these people are original survivors in disguise. Monokuma appears! Ahem, now that I've made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame. This is so freaking lame! Lame, I say! Lame with the lamest lame sauce! Oh wait, lame sauce? Isn't that tasty? Shit. Hey, hey. Just as I thought it was you! 
but how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up! Hey, I'm livid, you know, and I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. What's with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. Just ain't fun at all, you better knock off this farce right now. What are you Gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense! What? But what's going on? What is that thing? Stop lying, Byakuya. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, as long as I have this magic stick. Yeah! He stole the stick. He stole the stick. He stole the stick. Oh no, he broke it. My magic stick. Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. Oh no. So I'm gonna make you in my image. This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya! I'll bite ya! I'll rip you apart! <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still! This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! I... Uh, this is lewd! <laughs> Oh, that's mean. What is this? That's bullying. No. I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Take me back to normal. What's this? My, my, defying your big brother's fashion sense. Is Minomi a little troublemaker? Hey. Big brother Minomi? My little sister. Your current position is so wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> that's only an external setting, after all. Hey. Why do I have to be your little sister? Big sister, you want to be the older sister that gets separated at birth? I don't like Doesn't really this. feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. So that's how it's gonna be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I'll never forgive you. Oh. Even the display changed to Monomi. Oh yeah, no, this is. I won't forgive you. So he's changing the video game. He's changing the video Stupid game. Oh my god. What is... What the fuck? <laughs> well, I still have the magic thing. I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> you fall leaving yourself so open, even this one second opening is life-threatening on the battlefield. Hey, hey. Huh? <laughs> yeah, everyone's so confused. Huh? What's going on? Huh? Now she's all weird looking. Wait, she matches me now, you know? How insensitive. So there's more of them? What did you say? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? <laughs> I'm not a tanuki, I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it. Not a stuffed animal, I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Host Week Academy. This is... Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> I love this game. You say, headmaster? Right, so here's everyone is gathered. Now that his head the master has to make a formal declaration. And this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Yep, time for the murder. The murder begins now. A school trip where everyone gets along has no simulation at all, and it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. You guys agree with me, right? So let's begin with our killing school trip. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Oh, jeez. Just fucking. Oh, it's just bullying. It's just bullying now. Manga, little sister, never smarter than their big brother. Go to Tobey for a second, go back to the killing school trip. This is obvious, you guys are going to kill each other! Let's kill each other, I see. 
Oh, yep. He's just he's just gonna say he's just gonna kill each other. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. Then make it through the class trial without getting caught. Okay, so the same thing as the first game. Got him. That's right. The class trial is a real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. My voice is dead, so I'm just gonna stop for now because we're basically done. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be determined by a popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, you choose poorly, and the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, it means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave the island. If you're found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's all familiar, but simple rule, right? What the heck? Keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. Is... Yep. Gonna get murdered. The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. Yeah, Hayako is gonna be like, Hayako, she's already like, Excuse me, I need to go change my... I need to go change my my kimono. You just made me super wet. <laughs> what sort of spine tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. Jesus. Like I have to see Himiko and Monokuma fucking dancing in circles about murder, murder, murder. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Ching. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's awesomely popped. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sheep sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. Be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. What's going on? I mean, on? what the only gonna really do is wait until Usami can fucking take shit back. Really? Yeah, they're PG-13, like, like, all the blood is pink, like, you know, it's like, I think, like, the most gruesome something gets is... I think, like, the, the most gruesome something got in the first game was... was this. Like, this is about the group, like, the worst it got. Like, literally it. Not really all that. What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean you will never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway, I'd like for you all to go through this with killing sculpture with a healthy, positive manner. What's going on? Wait, just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? So obviously, there's a reason you all need to kill each other. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I, no I don't want to get violent. If I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it. Oh shit! Oh shit, gonna do, do a fucking team up attack! Let's go. Yeah, there's a lot more violent people in this game. Monokuma's gonna get his shit kicked in. Why you? You keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in the group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. I guess I expected this reaction. You guys wanna do things by force, and I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey. So, gods who dwell within light and darkness in course with our contract, I summon thee now! Come forth, mana beasts! What? 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 I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived on this island, but still, the phenomenon taking place in front of me was basically blatantly out of this world. What? Why did the statue move? Wrong. The statue, they're mono beasts. <laughs> yeah, I think so. As I said, they're mono beasts. 
Strange thing about genuine surprises is when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. Some of the appearance of a monster might seem normal in anime and video games. Surprisingly, why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. Yeah, this is a simulation. This is getting way too fucking out of hand. Like, even the first game didn't go this goofy with it. No. Yeah, this is getting rough. <laughs> Sure, skeptical punch. If something doesn't fit with your narrow notion of common sense, you just deny it outright. How strange. You ignore cavemen, but you all. Oh, jeez. I will protect everyone! Even in the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone! What's this? Ugh. Ah, this is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Decided, you will be my example to everyone! What? Oh, your Sami's dead. Your Sami's dead. Yeah, this is about as uh, this is about as uh, about as rough as the executions get. Like that's probably about as graphic as they get. Jesus, she just got fucking annihilated. Well, rip Usami. <laughs> the only first stage of Manomi is already dead. What? Is that a demon, or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mona beats her dreadful weapons of destruction. What the hell? Never seen anything like before, I had no idea. <sighs> but what I wanted, this feeling of despair, get an example, totally right call! Oh, Jesus Christ. Pal, so different than ants washed away in a storm. Well, now. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me! Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all! An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere, won't work on me at all! Hmm. In addition to the killing pool script, I've already updated the e-handbook. There are rules about the killing school trip are written, so you better read them. They're probably gonna be the same as in the first game, right? Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. That's the truth. That's also true of any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. Jesus Christ, my dude. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his Mono Beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone looked the same. We had a sad expression on our pale faces. That's. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Nick Nagato is just like, oh, this was not supposed to happen. This was not supposed to happen. I won't believe. I won't believe. <laughs> Jesus. What's going on? It's certainly. There's Mono Beast forever the colder machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as the machines make someone make them trolling them. Answer me. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. But Junko is dead. Anyway. Like, Junko um, is the one that controlled Monokuma. Listen. So who is controlling him this time? Junko's dead. Ourselves being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. Look around each other's faces. Obviously I'm looking at expressions. Everyone is forced to admit the truth of what was just said. Like everyone else is like, okay, this is rough. And then like the fucking kimono girl in the back is like, ha 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 ha, oh god, I can't wait to murder! <laughs> we had to be honest, but we had the potential. Only soon we kills a classmate and escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. Where there's a possibility the killing may never recur, but I am no different. So I truly be confident that something like that isn't going to happen. There's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't even have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Christ. Yeah, this is, uh, oh boy. Well, I imagine that Kimono Girl is going to be the first one to fucking snap. They wish have more significant meaning. A special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. And that was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun. The struggle island was its stage. 
Alright, so there's the opening credits. So I was hoping to reach these, because I was like, okay, we're like just right there. So once this cutscene is done, I'm going to end it. Because there is no point. There is no point just ending it like right in the middle of something like that. But what about Manomi? What about Usami, though? But what about Usami? Chiaki? Yep, yeah, there you go. This is a cool fucking opening, I'll say that. Fucking, why does he have, like... Alchemist symbols in the fucking background. Maybe Usami is control. I I don't think Usami is controlling it. I, I I feel like Usami was legitimate. Uh, yeah, I I think Usami is legitimate. So. Hmm. Wait, is she a dude? What was those boy and girl signs? Is the nurse secretly a dude? Oh god, what if- Oh shit. Okay, so you know my- So you know my, uh, my- my simulation theory, right? What if... What if... Junko got uploaded as well? What if, like, because, like, I said, though, they've recreated a lot of the students and made them amalgams to make new guys, right? What if... What if they did the same with Junko in, in a hopes to, like, make her, like, a decent, well-adjusted individual, but she got out of hand and escaped containment or something? Alright, and we'll just save. Alright! I mean, that's because she wants to avoid Monokuma, doesn't she? Once a murder takes place, the class will begin. Alright, got you. Blacken is posed during a lone period. Blacken is not exposed, remains to be executed. Uh, Blade Blacken will be given to crime and allowed to leave the island. Body discovery announcement in place means three more people who discovered the body for the first time. Ignoring any property on the island, the apparition should be prohibited. They use frames, cameras, and monitors. If you investigate the island at your own discretion, your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. Alright. So, anyway. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm going to leave this off now. We'll be back with more of this on Monday, I think. Yes, we're back with more of this on Monday. Unless I... Hmm. I, actually, I, I've kind of actually fucked up the... I've kind of actually fucked up the ordering here, haven't I? I mean, I also, I still need to, I still need to, uh, commission that, uh, commission that, uh, that thing for things. So we'll do more, this tomorrow. Yeah. So we're gonna do, yeah, so I'll do, I'll, I'll do another one of these tomorrow. And then Persona 4 will start on, Persona 4 will start on Monday. Because that gives me a chance to get the thumbnail properly made so I can commission an image. Because Sour normally works pretty quickly. Um, so hey. Uh, so far it looks like, unless, uh, something has changed on the Discord... It seems like the idea is that people wanted you, like a, a, a Vix, a Vix cosplaying as you, and I don't think anyone else has voted anything. So I imagine so that's probably going to be what I'm going to do. So thank you everybody for watching. As always, I am Nozvix. If you're watching this live, then hey, come on back tomorrow, probably at the same time, and, we'll, and I'll be I won't be late probably. And if you're watching this on the vault, then hey, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to catch this live, you can always come to twitch.tv forward slash nozichan, linked in the description. And there's a live stream every single day at 6.30pm Eastern Standard Time. And if you really love my content and you want to support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, or fill up this cup if you're here live. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today. And I will see you a... Round the room.